with Elvis Grant, uh, the guy behind the best gloves in the business. I just read Elvis said, there is no combination of colors you cannot do. And there is no, co there is no glove uh, which will be not good enough for even the best fighter. Tell me, tell me how this thing started with, with you and the gloves and, and doing the customized special gloves for the best fighters in the world. I started in the boxing equipment, uh, selling boxing equipment when I was about 14. And I was one of the few people, or well, the only person in the East Coast that had Mexican boxing equipment to sell. And uh, basically, long story short, is I, I had said that one day when I had the finances to start my own company, uh, that I, I really felt that I could make even better equipment than anything that was out there in the 80s or 90s. And uh, when I, I had my first world champion uh, that I managed in 94, uh, I was able to, to uh, realize that dream. And we basically, our first uh, three customers were, uh, well, Buddy McGirt was the very first guy to ever use Grant. So he was, he was, he's, he's right here with us in Foxwood, so uh, down to the memory lane. But uh, the one thing which I, which I like about Grant, there, there, there are various uh, brands, of course, on the market is outside of, of, of color. I mean, most of the fighters I know, and I know a lot of them, are saying this is a perfect combination of, of still having power and give the, the hand the proper cushion. Uh, do you guys have a, like a special test for it? How does this thing happen for the people who are new in the boxing business and want to, you know, order the ground gloves? It's a combination of, of uh, technology and it's a combination of, uh, I mean, my, my people that work for me is a uh, third generation family of glove makers that have been in business many, many years and, and I basically have taught them my way and my, my way of making gloves, uh, which was to be able to provide knockout, punching uh, you know, ability to the boxer using them as well as protection to the hand, because many boxers these to say, well, you know, this one's the puncher's glove, yeah, and then, every, then this guy's... Yeah, this was like, like an old saying, yeah. ...the cast for six months, you know, in their <laughs> hand afterwards, so we didn't want to be that. We wanted to be considered the best glove, uh, which I believe I've achieved, uh, but also provide, like I said, provide a, a puncher's glove for guys like Golovkin uh, and people like that who are big punchers, and Canelo and the Klitschko's, but also provide... And Floyd Mayweather. And Floyd Mayweather. Uh, but also provide the, the hand protection to them uh, that, that is equally as important. I'm going to use the example of NBA. Uh, stuff that we can buy in a store, it, it, it will have a LeBron James on it, but we know those uh, sneakers we were wearing are not the same. Uh, how, how, how big is the customization part for the, uh, for the special fighters? Like, let, let's stay with, with Mayweather. Is it, is it like uh combination of you talking to floyd to his people he giving you he's giving you the ideas what he wants or you already know by now what's the best love for him i already know by now because we've been working together for so many years so i know his his hands i know the problems that he has with his hands uh and so so i basically know what we need to do with him but uh, my 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 advantage over others is uh i haven't let sales representatives deal with the fighters, the boxers. I, I've dealt with them directly. So my one-on-one -on -one relationships, um, you know, on any given day, uh, Floyd Mayweather could call me, Vladimir Klitschko could call me, Felix Sturm could call me, Canelo could call me, and these guys... And you're there. Me, and I'm there. And there's that one-on-one -on -one relationship, and it's a relationship of, uh, of respect and trust. And these guys trust me with their with their hands, which is which, which it, exactly it's 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 how they make the living. Yes. And uh, funny you mention uh, you being in in so many places because we are setting this interview for at least four months. But I know between being in Moscow, being in Berlin, being in Las Vegas, uh, now we are in Foxwoods before before the fight. But uh, how I presume and, and knowing you, you cannot do the great gloves without being a big big fan of boxing. If you can tell about your involvement uh, in, uh, in boxing from the other side, being a fan. I've been in boxing since um, I, I fell in love with boxing when I was nine. And uh, by the time I was 12 years old, I was sitting on Don King's desk, uh, hanging out in his office and on 69th Street in Madison Avenue, Manhattan, 
which was about seven blocks from my school that I went to, that I was constantly playing hooky from <laughs> and, uh, and spending time with the air. And then uh, someone asked me, in fact, uh, Max Kellerman asked me the other day when we were doing our HBO interviews what uh, what high school I went to. And I told him I went to Gleason's Gym on 30th Street and 8th Avenue. <laughs> and that basically was my school. I mean, that's, that's true. That's I spent you know, my time. Since One of the, the most 70s. famous gyms in, in New York City. Yes, most famous in the world. Yeah. I mean, on any given day back then, Roberto Duran could walk in, Wilfredo Benitez could walk in. You know, you name it, the greatest fighters uh, that ever lived uh, trained in that gym. And everyone that came to New York to fight, most everyone was there in that gym. So, What was your toughest assignment? What was the most unusual, without spilling the, the company secrets, uh, request? It was a color, it was a size, without mentioning the names. Or you can mention the names, of course, if you will. Yeah. Um, God, there's so much of that. Uh, you know, there's, yeah, there's been so much of that over the years. Um, you know, dealing with the personal service aspect of the business and dealing one-on-one -on -one with these guys. Uh, there's been, uh, I mean, as far as colors, we, we've never really had an issue with that. In fact, it's funny because everyone is now, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Everybody wants to copy Grant. True. I don't care which company they are. Doesn't Every matter. Every single one of them are copying us. Yeah. And that's okay. They're all following the leader, and, and I'm, I'm blessed, you know, to have that happening. So, but... Um, I think just fitting, uh, I mean, uh, I had a fighter call me uh, last week, he was a very, very well-known champion, and said to me that he would like the wrist area, uh, this area, to be a little bit tighter, because it was a little loose, so he'd like it to be a little bit tighter, yeah. so can we do that for the next fight? And so we're constantly tweaking and, and looking to make it better and, and, and getting feedback from the fighters on what it is that they like or don't like. And, you mentioned technology uh, from the from the outside view you can say how how big the involvement of technology could be in the gloves I mean we are talking great leather we are talking stuffings we are talking you know taking the shape of the hand of the fighter I presume for the for, for but can you tell us how has technology enhanced what the grants does right now well, I mean, t technology in the aspect of uh, the, the fillers that we're using inside the glove and how we blend the fillers and stuff, I mean, we don't, uh, unlike uh, some of our competitors, I mean, we don't use any, any of these fancy names and, you know, Kotex, Kotex, whatever the heck they call it. it it's just about making the right glove. And, and certain fighters have zero hand problems. Other fighters have True. a bad right hand or they have a bad left hand. Uh, some guys have a bad thumb, some guys have problems in the metacarpal area, some guys have problems in this knuckle. So we have to address those issues and balance it So because we're obviously not going to do anything that's unfair to the other fighter and use less padding here and on his glove more, you know, we would never do anything like that. So it's kind of a balance of just making sure that uh, you're able to provide the boxer uh, his, his you know, needs because everyone has a different issue. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask a kind of specific question regarding the Polish fighters. Uh, you are the um, you brand this number one brand for some of them. Artur Spilka. I know a lot of fighters who are uh, Adamic. Adamic who are, who are believing only in one kind of gloves, the Grand gloves. Uh, how did you get the contact with them? Did they contacted you? How this thing happened? They contacted us. Um, uh, we were contacted by Adamic's people uh, some time back. He tried the gloves, he loved them, and he's used them ever since. True. Uh, and uh, Spilka, uh, Spilka came from um, a, a, one of our customers, uh, his name is Mantus, who introduced us to Spilka and told Spilka, you really have to try these gloves. They are the most amazing gloves I've ever, I've tried everything, and this is incredible. It's true, this is exactly what he's saying. He's gonna be here, by the way, in the United States in 48 hours. Before uh, before his um, fight on August 16 on the White Sox Stadium, so I hope you will be there. So so there is a Polish connection and a European connection. You mentioned the Klitschkos. How long they are using you your stuff? Uh, Vladimir has been using it now. I want to say, well, long time, six seven years maybe more. Uh, Vitaly maybe four years, uh, and um, Felix Sturm. That uh, thing, Golovkin, I mean, all that whole like Eastern European thing. I remember Golovkin every time he fought, since he's, he since he fought in the States, 
he was fighting in your gloves. Yes, that's right. That's right. And he's a blessing to have. Not only is he a great champion and I think a future superstar, but he's one of the uh, nicest, uh, most noble uh, human beings I've ever met. So I'm, I'm very proud to be involved with him and Tom Loeffler and Abel. And they're just a great bunch of people. So it's a, it's a real, it's a joy to be with them. With Elvis Grant, the man behind the best gloves in the business, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Let's see the uh, Grant gloves doing some damage tonight at Foxwoods. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.